today's video, we are going to be opening up the newest JLA Platinum figures. And I just gotta say, I did reviews on these, on the regular versions on the channel here by themselves. So we're not gonna go ahead and just do a thorough whatever unboxing. We already did that. So we're gonna stick with this angle right here and we're just gonna open them up one by one and play around with them, whatever. Take a cool look at them. Uh, we got that Superman that I just showed there. We got Green Lantern. We also have the Aquaman Platinum figures. And I just gotta say, I absolutely have no business opening up toys until I do an absolute rehaul of my toy room, pack up some stuff, put some stuff away. I did just buy a giant collection of Simpsons memorabilia and action figures. And uh, stick around for that, because that's going to be my huge project here on YouTube. But I, I absolutely desperately need to go through and bin some stuff up, unfortunately. Put some stuff away and make some more room for other things that are coming in. Pick and choose. i got to be picky and choosy at this point in my collecting journey. Maybe sell some stuff? I, I doubt it. But one day I'll have a house and I won't have to worry about this as much. But for now... It's time to do a rehaul on my toy room here. I've just been too busy, but enough of me blabbing on. Uh, let's go ahead and get into these figures if I can find... Here we go. Alright, what do I want to do first? I want to do Green Lantern first. Let's do that. So back of the box is nothing different than the original release of this, but I was heavily debating on not opening these, but then I really sat and thought about it. I was like, what use do I have for them? I'm not gonna sell them. So what do you what use do I have for them? It's sitting in the box. So same cards. There's the trading card there. I love that image. It's pretty cool. The stand. Hopefully they never stop coming with figure stands because obvious reasons. I guess you guys are gonna go through my process of how I open up action figures and uh, collectibles and whatnot as I do have a crap ton of DC Multiverse stuff. Where did I just put that way? There we go. Never want to lose sight of that. So as somebody pointed out in the comments when I did this figure, they noted that these right here, effects, I don't know, the camera doesn't want to pick them up. They're kind of a repaint of the ones that came with the Jason Todd Arkham Asylum figures, or Arkham City, I should say. Now I do have extra Build-A-Figure parts. I'm gonna have three different sets, of course, but I have a buyer, so my friend uh, Eric on here was already informative and in letting me know, hey man, I wanna grab those Build-A-Figure pieces because I only wanted Batman and Plastic Man this way. So I said, hey, you know what? We can strike a deal. I don't know what I'll charge. I'm not a collector that's out there for the money, so I'll be fair and reasonable with him. Maybe just toss me something for the shipping or pay me the price of a regular figure or something like that you know what I mean just to be fair because there's not enough of us out there who are fair there's a lot of shady collectors out there who are just so greedy and I will just never be one of those people who are just in it for the money I have a love of action figures and a passion for doing this kind of thing those if it followed me from the other place, I'm really sure if it's elective, uh, if you could say the other place is place or not. Let's try to get this package. Spilling the twist ties everywhere, even though they're scattered on my desk. But if you've been following me for a long time over there, you'll know that I'm not a greedy collector. In fact, I am very helpful and not in it for the money. All right, so here is John Stewart, Green Lantern. It does, obviously the Platinums vary when it comes to the paint jobs and stuff like that. This one's a hit. I like it. Uh, it's nothing crazy. A lot of joint grease going on here, as usual, but pretty cool John Stewart. I don't know which one I like better. I don't even know where I put him at. I have no idea. But I have some opinions about where we're going as far as Platinums and releases of stuff and just like my feeling towards it. It's a pretty cool, f cool figure. Definitely a different Green Lantern symbol going on there it's cool but if all we're getting is different paint in the platinums i don't know some of the platinums they've clearly just how do i put this but like, platinum hunting is becoming it's fun but it's also tiring so i'm not a whiner but also at the same time 
my thought process now is more so while I'm talking let's open up another figure we got Aquaman here uh, I do like the bright green on the tights there totally like a wrestling attire on this guy totally got a WWE style costume on Aquaman here stand up there get this trading card out boom there we go another stand it gets so warm in the collector room, toy room, whatever you want to call it. What I was saying though is I, I'm not going to go out and roll in and say every platinum has been a knockout of the park. I'm looking at my steel platinum right now and it's just not, not the greatest. Uh, we got extra plastic man arms. So my guy Eric is going to be pretty much hooked up minus the head for the plastic man. I don't even know how I'm going to ship this to him. I suppose I could have kept it on the card for him, but he'll be fine. So anyway, back to my point about the Platinums. The Platinums were, to me, really cool when it was one, maybe two tops in, in a wave. But when you got Platinum releases and three Platinum releases out of four, you're collecting seven figures in a, in a build a figure wave. So eight in a wave when there's only five. Do the math. If you're hunting and you can find them at a great price, it's freaking awesome. You don't always get that lucky though, but it's just starting to get scary out of hand. And McFarlane knows what they're doing. I'm not knocking them. It's cool. I would have been more than happy with just getting the red Superman. It could have been a regular release, but we're not going to get into all that with this Aquaman. Does not want to cooperate. There we go. So it's just getting kind of rough out here for some collectors like me as most of you do i work a regular full-time job i got side stuff going on I, I referee pro wrestling shows on the weekends so i'm a pretty busy guy i don't have the time to go out there and figure hunt well if you really cared that much you'd really just be more on the hunt you'd make time for it if you really care it has nothing to do with that dude most people just have regular lives and they don't want to spend all their time out there hunting for figures. The thing that drove me crazy was, so I am in the Minnesota area, that's all I will say, and for us, they hit almost three weeks to a month after I see all my other friends from like California or Florida. Figures, I maybe see somebody from my local toy group post, oh hey, just found at whatever Target or whatever Walmart. Oh wow, this is cool. So the armor is a little bit different tights are a little bit different. I love the hook hand. Aquaman is actually pretty badass. It's a pretty sweet figure. Perfect amount of joint grease going on there. It's not too much, but it's also, it, that's cool as hell. But you can see the difference between this and if you watch the other videos or if you already have the Aquaman yourself, you can see that tights are a little bit different. I love that bright green. That was, this is almost my, when I was a wrestler, this is almost my gear. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's get into Superman now. My favorite one out of the bunch, the one I was waiting for and hunting the most. But like I was saying, sometimes it takes three, four weeks before these collectibles, platinum versions, regular versions, hit stores. I mean, what really deterred me was a little over a month ago, I went out and I hunted 13 targets. One of them figures I was looking for. Oh, I'm sorry. One of them did, and then they turned me down at one. And then I came back a couple of days later and I was able to grab one, but... So it's just, if you're gonna have three Platinums per wave of action figures, it's gonna start driving genuine collectors crazy. And you know else can drive genuine collectors crazy? Me opening up Platinum figures and posting them here on YouTube because people are like, oh my God, the value. It's just like the Simpsons collection I just bought. I plan on opening up all of them. I mean, it's gonna be a summer of the Simpsons on this channel. But we will get into all that when I finally post that video. My cat's in here, she's probably gonna start talking. I'm trying to get all these pieces up before I take them out. But it's just starting to get to interesting levels of collecting as far as McFarland. It almost seems like every wave of collector's edition, ones that come with the, the card stands or whatever, it seems like every collector's edition is coming with a platinum for each figure in the line. And I'll be honest, Loved it for the Sinestro Batman. That was cool. Uh, not Sinestro Batman, the translucent Batman. The Green Lantern Batman, whatever. Loved it for that. I actually liked the Kryptonite Superman with the Crypto the Super Dog. But I'm being honest, I, I wasn't feeling the newest 
collector's edition platinums. I'm more than happy with just having the standard versions of those figures. My guy Eric, so you're, you're hooked up with the arms, the legs, well, one set of arms, the legs, and the torso for Plastic Man. And don't get me wrong, this ain't sour grapes or anything like that, but I'm gonna be more picky when it comes to McFarland stuff. When it comes to platinums, I should say, I'm pretty much still continue to get every wave. Platinum hunting is just not ideal for me. I'm lucky to have a friend group that hooks me up when they find the stuff, so I'm thankful for that. But it's rough for me, so all right, this is what I've been waiting for. Holy crap, guys. Check it out. We got the red Superman, and boy does that pop. Holy crap. And to my point, too, I even passed on the tumbler. I'm having FOMO about it. Uh, I passed on both of them. I haven't gotten either one. And now the one is sold out, so it is what it is. Like I said, I just did purchase a huge Simpsons collection, so we're gonna totally display that. I always wanted to when I was a kid. 2004 me, 20 year ago me, 12 year old, 11 year old me, however old I was, is gonna love that. But we're here and we're checking out the Red Superman and this was totally worth it. I'm so glad and thankful to my friend Scott for helping me find these and sending them to me and not charging me scalper prices. So that's gonna do it, I guess. We got all three of these Platinums here and see if I can't take a cool screenshot for the thumbnail. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys liked this long rant style kind of video. I'm gonna cut it down and edit it a little bit, but these are my new Platinum figures. And you might think I'm crazy for opening them, but I don't care what you think, and I like it. So I am chaotic, and that's the way I always have been and always will be. So anyway, peace out, y'all.